Hi, my name is Jerry Hennig. I'm from Do As Yeshua Did Ministry. I am a spirit-filled true believer in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, or Yah for short. I am trying to do my best to help individuals with a commonly misunderstood or misdiagnosed disorder called MPD, Multiple Personality Disorder, or DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder. I call it the sleeping giant because of the fact that it is very it is common in our society, everywhere you look, once you understand it, causing chaos with those who know very little about it. If understood, people would grasp many unexplained things going on in our society involving uh, judicial, medical, military, educational systems, etc. MPD is often responsible for many physical and so-called mental or emotional disorders and syndromes such as PTSD, bipolar, manic depressive, hearing and speech problems, phobias of all kinds, nightmares, daydreams, and various addictions. People with MPD don't have to live a life consisting of drugs that make them lethargic, meaningless sessions with people in the mental health field, and hopelessness in general. They need to know that the one who created them is the one who will help them in their situation. If I sound a little radical, then good, because truth often sounds radical. However, truth is what sets us free. If I offend some people in the medical field with what I have to say, then so be it. Maybe it's time some were offended so something gets done. MPD, or DID, is a condition in which an individual, the host person, becomes divided or disassociated into two or more distinct individuals, personalities, or persons, due to a serious trauma that took place in their life. These divisions, people, are called alters. Usually this person or this terrible event takes place in a person's childhood years, but can come at any time. Those who have had a bad upbringing usually have MPD. The best way to describe it, even though it may sound weird, is that they are people within people, people within a host person. Each of these broken off persons or personalities are called alters. They are distinct and individual. These alters have their own separate soul and spirit, but are connected to the hard drive and memory, you might say, mind of the host individual. In most cases, these alters have a direct access and are privy to pretty much everything in the life of that host person. These alters share one body, that of the host. Sometimes they'll come forward and overtake the host person, using the body as they please for a short period of time, sometimes longer. These alters usually have their own name and have their own individual tastes, likes, and dislikes, similar to any other distinct person. These alters will be the age of the host when the traumatic experience happened. For example, if a girl five years old was um, in a terrible situation and an altar broke off, she would come forward as a five-year-old in perhaps the body of a 50-year-old woman. The voice will be that of a child, and the understanding will be that of a five-year-old. MPD is not a mental disorder and can usually be dealt with quite easily if one is serious about getting spiritual help. This condition has been prevalent in our society for thousands of years, but it is usually simply passed off as someone having a bad day or a bad hair day. The medical world calls it a mental disorder, but it is not the case. The condition is neither mental nor disorder, but instead a divine survival technique that takes place when too much trauma overloads our mind. In the Bible, it's referred to as 1 Corinthians 10, 13. This is the only verse I can see that actually points to this situation. No temptation has overtaken you, but such as is common to man, and Yah is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will provide the escape also, that you may be able to endure it. This condition is the end result of Yah's protection of the human mind. This occurs when Yah intervenes and causes a breaker, so to speak, to switch off to protect our main circuit board from breaking down our mind. If he didn't intervene in many cases, that individual might end up in the back ward of some mental institution. Instead, he supernaturally takes a terrible trauma and memory of that event and contains it in an altar, splitting off the altar from the mainframe of the host person to prevent 
the mental and emotional destruction. This condition can be compared to the breaker box in a house. If you have an electrical short of current in a wire because of an overload, rather than burn the entire house down, the breaker for that section of the house snaps off to protect the entire well-being of the house. Yaw has allowed the human mind to withstand overloads by incorporating this system of protection. Because Yaw is the one who allowed the breaker to close and the altar to break off, he too is the one who must switch the breaker back on. He uses his born-again people to reset the breaker. This resetting of the breaker, if you will, is called integration. Integration can only be accomplished by those equipped with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, Roth HaKodesh. Yah can use his willing, mostly baptized in the Holy Spirit believers to help these people with DID under normal circumstances. Professional psychiatrists and psychologists can do nothing to integrate altars because they have nothing to do with the Holy One of Israel. They are not believers. If they were, they wouldn't have anything to do with the religion of psychiatry or psychology based upon principles of demonically inspired gurus like Freud, Jung, Rogers, and the likes. Spiritual deliverance, the removal of curses and demons, almost always involves dealing with MPD. It is impossible to separate MPD from the spiritual warfare of deliverance, so one must understand it in order to do true deliverance. Three of the most common signs that a person has MPD or DID are as follows. A loss of time. The person realizes that they are missing time, as if they were asleep, yet they were not. This can be minutes or even days at a time. Hearing voices from within. The person often hears voices as if someone is trying to have a conversation with them. Moody and wandering in thought. Distinct changes in nature, thought, character, or voice. A distinct change in voice, poise, or demeanor. As if you're talking as more than one individual. The person is drinking Pepsi when you know darn well that she likes Coke. One moment they're talking about a particular subject, and all of a sudden... They're into something else completely without skipping a beat. Anyone seriously involved in Satanism or other occult practices and secret societies that involve sacrifices will almost always have MPD. The good thing is that it can be treated very effectively if it is looked at from a spiritual perspective rather than a mental disorder. If any of what I have spoken rings a bell, don't be alarmed. Help is available. The help comes in the form of Yeshua Messiah incorrectly commonly called Jesus by those proclaiming to be Christians. The truth is, the Sunday-type Christian church organization, religious businesses with pastors as CEOs, that most people think of when they're referring to the church, has no power, no authority. They can't help in spiritual situations. These pagan palaces have nothing to do with the Bible, nor the God of the Bible. I wish I could direct those looking for help to specific ministries or individuals, but over the last 14 years that I've been involved in deliverance ministry, I've not been able to find anyone anywhere that is dealing with MPD spiritually. If you know of anyone, I'd be interested to hear about them. I know there must be others out there, but I have yet to be connected with anyone. For those wanting help, especially altars, I can only offer what has been revealed to me. If I can help in any way, I would be glad to do so, free of charge. Please don't think I'm trying to bring attention to myself or my ministry. I'm only doing this to let people with this problem know that there is a way out. All glory belongs to Yah. Hallelujah. If you're interested in contacting me in this regard, please feel free to contact me through my website. For more detailed explanation of MPD, please feel free to read my MPD teaching on my website. The website also has over 100 teachings on the Hebraic roots of our Bible. For those wanting to flee Babylon, Revelation 18.4. The website can be located at yawswatchman.webs.com. Yawswatchman, Y-A-H-S-W-A-T-C-H-M-A-N dot webs, W-E-B-S dot com. You have a great day. Shalom.